Welcome back to the McMahon Group, everyone. I'm Lisa Schneider Cipriano. And I'm Angela Scott. Hey, listen, if you haven't caught this show here on AZTV, you need to do so. It airs Saturdays at 8.30, and it's called the Image Home Improvement Show. And joining us this morning, who can help you take your home from ordinary to extraordinary, is the owner of Image Home Improvement, as well as the host of Image yes. Home Improvement Show. Welcome, Steve. Good morning, Steve. ladies. How are Steve you? Steve Dubell. Good. Thank great. you. So for our viewers who haven't had a chance to catch this show, this show yet, please describe it to us. Well, the show is actually, um, it was a brainstorm that I had along with Monty from Keiko Roofing, who's our title sponsor. Mm -hmm. And uh, for many years, we've been on radio here in the Valley on Extra Sports 910. And the reason that we had started the show was because I saw too many people in our remodeling business try to do things that they really had no business trying to do. Yes. So we coined the phrase, a homeowner with tools could be a very dangerous thing. Yes, yes. It's so true. And uh, our good friend Pat is, a, is probably one of the candidates that are in that group because he told me he can't <laughs> hang a picture oh, at all. I'm so <laughs> right there too. So, you know, so that's one of the reasons we were trying to have people understand that they need to you know, do the right research or call a professional. And that's what we have. We've assembled a panel of professionals and sponsors that are really key and top notch in all different fields that we have from plumbing to roofing to remodeling. And we've had several of them on the show already and they are a wealth of information in their particular industries. But we've heard you yourself, Steve, are, is, you're Mr. Fix-It. You can That's fix me. just about anything. That's what they tell me. <laughs> is, is there one thing in particular that you see homeowners try to fix on their own that just cause complete havoc and you say, you know what, don't do it again, hire a professional. Really, and a lot of, uh, you know, a lot in uh, electrical is, is probably something that we see a lot of. In fact, I met with a client this morning. She was telling me that she had just recently bought a home and the homeowner, the previous homeowner thought that they were Mr. Electrician oh, where they took actual extension cords oh, no. and wired them directly into the box. Are you kidding? Right. Now one of the things that if, if uh, our, our, our viewers have heard me on radio around the holiday season that I am a stickler on is that please, please, please make sure that if you've left your Christmas lights up all year long, mm -hmm. oh. take them down throw them away because you can't leave those wires up all year long. First of all, I don't know, I grew up back in New York, if you leave your Christmas lights up all year long, it's like, have you just forgotten to take them I know, down? Right. I mean, come oh, on. Oh, come on. It's, it's, it's a July. Hour, an hour and and undo them. I've literally yeah. gone to people's homes in July getting ready to do exterior paintwork, and I've got to take down the icicle Christmas lights. Sure. Oh my gosh. I mean, Which you know are like baking now into the roof. Exactly. If you're here yeah, in Phoenix, the, definitely. The, wires. the wire, act, the insulation actually crumbles. And, I've, and, and, and you hear horror stories around the Christmas time where the wires have actually shorted when they've just plugged them back mm -hmm. in and expect them to work, mm -hmm. and the house burns down. Mm -hmm. So please, please, please make sure that, that they have to do that. What's That's new helpful. in um, bathroom and kitchens? Kitchen and bathrooms, you know, with the economy situation, when everybody started to scale back and mm -hmm. everybody's guarding their, their money and right. really not going anywhere, kitchen and baths are probably the, of the biggest projects that are actually going on right now. You don't see too many people adding rooms on like they were doing back five years ago, yeah. but now they're doing a lot of kitchen and baths because they want to be able to make their home function better. Oh, show us, uh, tell us about this picture. Yeah, here, now Steve. this actually was a, uh, a track home kitchen that actually we did in Awatuki mm -hmm. that they wanted to just upgrade and change a lot of different views. They wanted to do away with the island and what we did was Beautiful. we That's changed it gorgeous. and made it a peninsula and which actually one of the key things in doing this is you want to make it functional, mm -hmm, function mm -hmm. well for you so that everything is right where you want it. Yeah. Whereas in a track home, you've got to kind of live with what you've got. Right, sure. right. But we did a complete makeover on that and uh, the homeowner loved it. You know, it's so true right now, well, there aren't a lot of buyers out there. So mm -hmm. people are having trouble selling their homes. I think it's really appropriate that you spend the money in your kitchen because I know for me, when I walk into a kitchen or to a home, that's the first thing I notice. Right. It's got to flow. And right. Exactly. And, and the one thing that we always have done in the 20 years we've been in business is that when we go into a home and do a remodel, we want to make sure that it looks like it came with the house. And Christmas time and the holiday season is a great time if you go in and you're, you're entertaining your friends and family during the holidays. 
take a look and see, is my kitchen really the way I would like to have it set up, even though you might have been thinking about doing it, but you know, holidays kind of crept up on you real quick and then, oh, I can't do it now, we'll never get it done in time. Mm -hmm. But if you want to make changes and you really want to do that, now's the time to really save because you're doing a lot of cooking in the kitchen and entertaining. How can I make this better so next year, it's the way I want it. But you know, right. now we are spending a lot of money. I mean, I know after Christmas for me, I try to pull in the reins and say, no more spending for a while. I feel mm -hmm. overwhelmed. Right. How do people save or how do they spend money on remodeling in January? Well, there's a lot of different ways, you know, with people saying that now that they don't have uh, equity in their homes because the values have gone down. One of our one of our sponsors on our show, Home Run Financial, has some excellent alternatives to what we used to actually go back and say, well, let's just go to the bank, get an equity loan, and right. we'll finance yeah, it. Yeah. Now we have to be a little more creative, and that's why I say I'm a firm believer when I assembled all our panels and sponsors, yeah. it's not just a question of the people that we're getting to do the work that they do it right. well, which right. they do. But again, we want to be able to help them Finance it because if they can't get the financing, right. they can't do the remodel. I didn't even mm -hmm. know you had somebody like that on yes. your panel. Mm -hmm. Please Which check out terrific. our website, mm -hmm. imagehomeimprovementshow.com. There's right. a, a wealth of information there for and, everyone. And quickly, you also have green ideas for everybody, too. Yes, that's and wonderful. obviously, that is a, a trend that's always growing and expanding. And a lot of our uh, panel members do a lot of green things, and we're going to be doing more. Uh, not only from a green standpoint, from a but it for a uh, green community standpoint coming in 2011. Oh, that's terrific! So, well, yeah. happy holidays well, to you. Well, thank you, you too. So much Thanks for, for having us. me on today. And very informative, very very informative. Yes. Just all those things that you need to know. Thanks so much. We'll be right back after this. Blixen and blixen and all his reindeers pulling on the reins.